Okay, so I get the honor of going last, um, so everybody's kind of leaning towards the doors. <laughs> um, so I'll be, I'll be as quick as possible. Uh, my name's Kerry Wilson. I'm a Java developer at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Uh, at Vanderbilt, we are a WebLogic customer. Uh, for the project I'm going to talk about today, though, I was serving as a consultant to another company to develop a integration application for a couple of their systems. So this, this was kind of a fun app because this company has no developers there. Uh, I was the only person working on it, so I didn't have to fight any battles really. They just had one requirement that it had to uh, run as a Windows service. So I got to pick whatever I wanted and uh, I chose uh, Glassfish. Um, now, this, this application will also not be that impressive uh, as far as like concurrent uh, requests served or transactions, um, but I hope it serves as a good example of a small lightweight application um, to, uh, that developed on Glassfish. <clears throat> Foundations Recovery Network is a company that runs treatment centers around the United States uh, for people with mental health and substance abuse disorders. Um, this application integrates their, or CRM, CR, their CRM system that their sales team uses with their clinical EHR. The CRM is used by the sales team to track um, patient leads uh, whenever a patient calls in and says they have problems, they, uh, they need to get treatment. Their sales team puts them in, puts them in their CRM. And um, the clinical EHR is, of course, using the clinics to manage a patient as they progress through treatment. So what they wanted to do was they wanted their sales team to be able to log into their CRM, update some provider data, patient data, and have it pick, be picked up by the EHR, as well as they wanted data to flow back from the EHR into their CRM system so they could set up business rules around like, uh, you know, when a patient leaves treatment or enters treatment or as they go through treatment, it will send alerts to the referring providers, the sales team, and perhaps their family or something. So what technologies did I use? Um, the, the, the core of the application is, is several jobs that are EJBs, stateless EJ, EJBs, with a, a business method with using the scheduled annotation. I use JAX-RS to pull data down from their CRM. Uh, their PaaS provider has uh, RESTful endpoints and makes it real easy to get data out of it. <clears throat> JPA is used to update the clinical EHR. We have direct access to the database, uh, SQL Server, and uh, so I can use JPA for that. Uh, I use CDI for dependency injection throughout the app. In addition, there's a JSF UI for monitoring app, uh, jobs, um, when they ran, uh, logs, were they successful, so on and so forth. Uh, JSF, I'm actually using prime faces. So what worked with Glassfish? Uh, first off, uh, Glassfish is free. Uh, we all can appreciate that. Um, it was quick to install, and since they had the requirement that it run as a Windows service, it was also very easy to do that. Uh, the scriptable configuration is great. Uh, I was able to build a script that, um, that builds out a server environment very quickly. I used NetBeans as my primary IDE, so the Net, NetBeans integration was a big selling point for me as well. But overall, I think Glassfish and Java EE is a very viable alternative to some of the other tools that are typically associated with these kind of lightweight applications. Uh, you know, the play frameworks and vertexes and, and so on and so forth. The Java EE 6 annotations, they're, they're very, very powerful. Um, minimize configuration and uh, give you access to advanced features very quickly. So some of the issues I ran, ran into with Glassfish, uh, I had uh, trouble setting up some of the logging. Um, the, 
I had, I had tried to get it to prune the log files and um, for some reason it just wasn't working. Uh, we, we put the application in production. Uh, three weeks later, they call me, oh, the hard drive's filled up with log files. So obviously it wasn't pruning and my logging was set uh, too, too fine. So I sought uh, help from the community, posted in the Glassfish forums and really didn't get any responses. So that's kind of uh, my next point, which is on me as well, because I, I didn't post any responses to people. So I think we can all do a better job of helping each other out. As far as the Windows service, it was easy to get it installed, but sometimes the stop doesn't work very well. Um, you stop it and it'll hang up, so you have to kill the process manually. And in development, I've noticed it, it hangs up after a few hot deploys. Uh, you know, you're developing fast. Say, I tend to save a lot and save a lot, so it, it kind of uh, causes issues. Um, this is prevalent in, in any Java container that I've worked with, so obviously hot deploys, uh, a tough nut to crack. What I would like to see on, on my next point, the, the mail settings um, were, I have these alerts that I send out and I was having some difficulty getting the mail settings right and uh, I know the when you're setting up a data source you have like test connection but uh, mail settings you don't really have anything like that so I wound up just putting a button in my application that send an alert <laughs> so that's how I had to test them I had to actually uh, deploy and send an alert All right, that's all I have. Uh, thanks for hanging around and enjoy job one.